Hey guys, it's VT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. I thought I would do a Halloween video. I kind of want to get into more videos like this on my channel, just kind of like random stuff that correlates with whatever holiday happens to be coming up. And I thought this is kind of a way for you guys to get to know me, and then also for me to get to know you guys by commenting in the comment section below. I wish you could still do video replies on YouTube, but you can't really do that anymore. But if you do want to make a video replay, or if you do want to make a video reply, not replay, uh, just put my name in the like title and let me know, or send me the link in the comment section and I will make sure to watch that. So first, I made a list of my top 10 Halloween movies that I personally like to like, that I personally like to like, that I personally like to watch. These are not in any way like the best top 10 Halloween movies out there. It's not that kind of a list. It's just what I personally enjoy watching on Halloween. And pretty much ever since they've been out, I've pretty much watched all of these movies every Halloween or close to it. So we'll start with my number 10 and we'll go up to my number one. My number 10 is Halloween Town and personally I don't, the only Halloween Town that I really enjoy is the first one and that is a, it's a Disney series. It started with Halloween Town and Halloween Town got really popular and then they started making more Halloween Towns. The second one wasn't that bad and then after that they kind of just got really bad. But I really enjoyed watching Halloween Town and it might be the fact that I was a really young kid when it first came out and I just I just thought it was great so but if you don't know what Halloween Town is you see a picture of the movie in probably your left corner I also have I have like three of the movies with me that's it all the other movies I do not have physical copies of unfortunately um, I wish I had copies of all these movies but I don't Next is the Harry Potter series. I have that right here. It's the uh, Complete 8 Film Collection. And this I got off of eBay. I'm pretty sure it's fake. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it comes with year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, and then year 7, part 1 and the part 2. So as you can see on the back, kind of, if there wasn't so much of a glare. But yeah, it comes with all of them on here. This is just, I just find Harry Potter really fun to watch during Halloween because I know it's not like Halloween really based, but it just kind of gets me in the mood for Halloween, you know, like magic and wizards and all that kind of stuff. It just kind of, that's the way the discs look. If you look closely, which you probably can't tell in this video, you can tell they're fake, but I don't really have like, I've watched four of them out of here so far and I haven't had a problem with any of them, so I think I got this for like. 20 bucks or something on eBay. It was a really good deal. It was like 80 bucks in store. Hey, if it's the ripoff movies and it still works, then why not, right? <laughs> so we got that. But yeah, I love watching Harry Potter. I know I've said this before, but I kind of have a soft spot for Harry Potter because one, we read the, I believe the first and second, and might have been the third too, but I, I know we read the first and the second in, when I was in high school, and also I was in a play uh, about Harry Potter in high school as well, so I kind of always have had a soft spot for Harry Potter. One of my best friends actually played Harry Potter, so it just always has had a soft spot for me. I enjoy watching those movies all the time, but Halloween, it makes it even more special to me. So we got that, and then next is a movie, it's called Tower of Terror, and it's not the ride at Disney World, but it is kind of based, the ride at Disney World is based on this. And it's basically where they go up in the elevator and they get stuck and these people die and then these people come in and basically discover that the place is haunted and trying to figure out why the place is haunted and it's just, it's, it's a kid movie. It's another Disney movie. If you ride the ride at Disney World when you come out of it, they literally have this movie like in the shop for you to buy. I'm pretty sure you can buy this movie really cheap online. I really do need to buy a copy of it. A lot of people don't like it, but me personally, I love that movie. And I don't know, again, if it has something to do with the fact that, like, when I was eight years old, I literally almost flipped out of the Tower of Terror ride. And then later on in my life, I went back and rode the thing again and then became obsessed with it and loved it. So I don't know if it has something to do with that or not, but I do love the movie as well. You will see, a again, a clip of it in the corner. This is one that I really wish I had a copy of. 
But yeah, Tower of Terror, if you have not seen it, watch it. I know I'm horrible at describing movies. Should be much better considering I've worked at Blockbuster. But you can ask people that I've worked with at Blockbuster. I, I just, unless I have seen the movie like a gazillion times, I was just horrible at describing movies. It probably has to do with my social anxiety, but anyway. Next, we have number seven, which is Casper. Everybody knows Casper. Love Casper. Casper's just a great, like, family movie to watch. Uh, Tower of Terror, too. Tower of Terror might be a little bit creepy to some kids, but, I mean, Casper's just a full-blown, fun Halloween movie to watch uh, with kids, with anybody. I mean, it's Casper. Who cannot love Casper, right? I just, I love Casper. So, I actually had a guinea pig once, and it was named Casper because I loved Casper so much. Honestly, I don't know if that's why I named it Casper. But anyway, um, Casper. Check it out. I'm not going to explain Casper. Everybody knows Casper. Six. I have six, and that is Pet Cemetery. I, when I first saw this movie, I don't know why, like, it didn't really, I, I know it's, this is a great movie to watch during Halloween. It's about animals that basically die, that come back, and they start killing people and basically get revenge. And to me, when I was a kid, it just didn't scare me. I looked at it more as, oh, well, my dog passed away. Maybe my dog can come back and, like, take care of my problems for me. Or maybe my dog can come back to life and I'll have my dog again. Like, I didn't even look at the whole, like, creepy side of this movie. And honestly, like, I just really enjoy this movie. I just think it's great. So, Pet Cemetery definitely a good one to watch during Halloween, in my opinion. Next, we have the classic Halloween movie, which is Halloween. That can be all of the Halloween series. Um, some people just enjoy like the first one or the first couple. I personally, every Halloween movie that I've seen, I have not seen all of them, but all the ones that I have seen, I have enjoyed watching. But personally, the first and the second one, I enjoy the most. It's just, when I first watched Halloween as a kid, it creeped the living crap out of me. Like, the music to this day, like, it's not as bad, but the music just creeps me out every time I hear it. So, uh, it's a really good movie to watch. It, it's kind of gotten to a point now, though, with me, where it's like, okay, he died. Okay, we all know he's coming back, so it kind of defeats the purpose when he dies, which kind of is getting old at this point. But, uh, I really do enjoy watching Halloween. And if you really want a, a scary flick to watch, Halloween's a good one to watch. Then next, we go back to a kid movie and at number four, which is Hotel Hotel Transylvania. The second I saw Hotel Transylvania, I fell in love with it. Loved the movie. Great movie, in my opinion. I loved the first one. The second and the third one... I believe there's only three, right? The second and the third one's not as good as the first one, in my opinion, but they're still great movies. I like all of them. I just enjoy watching Hotel Transylvania. I think it's funny... It's lighthearted, it's good comedy, it's good family fun. That's where I, I, like, I always say blah, blah, blah. That's where I got that from. So every time I mess up in a video and you hear me say, like, blah, 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 or something similar to it, or blah, 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 it's, I got that from Hotel Transylvania. But, yeah, I love that movie, so I enjoy watching that all the time. Halloween, it's a great movie for Halloween, obviously, with Dracula. So, and... I mean, not just Dracula, but you know how it's mainly based about Dracula and his daughter and all that. So, uh, number three, we have, number three, we have Beetlejuice. Now, I have this one that has, like, it has Beetlejuice, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride is okay, it's not my favorite, but I mean, that would be another good one to watch during Halloween, but it's not on my personal list. Beetlejuice, I've always loved Beetlejuice. I... Even as a kid, I loved watching Beetlejuice. It's another one of those movies that could be creepy to some, but even to me as a kid, I enjoyed it. Like, it never really creeped me out or anything. I actually wanted to meet Beetlejuice. Like, I thought Beetlejuice was real, and I really wanted to meet him. So, Beetlejuice is great. To me, it's another, like, funny kind of... Like, it's it's funny, but it's just, like, weird at the same time. It's, it's just a... In my opinion, it's a good movie for Halloween. And Beetlejuice is kind of one of those characters that, you know, a lot of people can like. So, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just love Beetlejuice. And maybe it's just because of his cool-looking suit or his cool hair or whatever, but I really think when I was a kid, and this sounds really bad, but I, th <laughs> I think I had a crush on Beetlejuice. So, yeah, I love watching Beetlejuice during Halloween. 
And then next we have, I should have this movie and I don't. And I swear I had it at one time and I don't know what I did with it. But I, both of these next two I should have, but I don't. Number two is Nightmare Before Christmas. Love it. If you can't tell <gasps> by the Jack Skellington shirt that I'm wearing. I love, and the hat actually. <laughs> um, I love, I love me some Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's good to watch during Halloween. It's also good to watch during Christmas. It's good to watch in between. It's good to watch year round. I just love Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, when I was a kid, it, I couldn't watch it. Like, it creeped me out so bad. I didn't get it. It was just like, it just, the way Jack looked and how like, you know, heads spin around and stuff like that. And the way Sally looked, you know, like with all like stitched up and everything. It just really creeped me out. So it can really creep out kids. And it did creep out like my, I think she was 10. She was either 9 or 10 when my little sister saw Nightmare Before Christmas. And then she had nightmares that night and I got blamed for it. And and yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a long story. But I thought she could handle it and apparently she couldn't. So be careful with kids. But um... I love it now. I, I just think it's a really great movie. It's got good music to it. I love Tim Burton. Pretty much everything he does I like. There has been a couple things that's come out recently that I haven't liked. Like the movie Nine. I I, I just think that movie is just... I don't like it. I, I don't get it. It's weird. I just... I don't like it. But anyway, most of the stuff that Tim Burton does I love. So, on to number one. Number one is kind of a lot of people's number one. But I've always enjoyed this movie, always have loved this movie, and that's Hocus Pocus. That is the number one movie that I love to watch during Halloween, especially Halloween. It's just, in my opinion, it's the best Halloween movie to watch. I just, I just think it's really funny, and I don't know why. I've just, I've always enjoyed the music. Like, I remember the lyrics and everything to, like, most of the songs in Hocus Pocus. I can watch that movie back to back to back over and over and over again and not get sick of it. I loved The Cat when I was a kid. The whole Hocus Pocus movie with there being a black cat in it, I, like, literally, that is the whole reason why I wanted a black cat in my future, and he's not in here, but I have one now. <laughs> um, that's why. It's because of that movie. Another thing is, when I went to Disney World again, they did kind of like a show on Hocus Pocus. The whole thing was based on Hocus Pocus. I actually have a shirt um, that has the three Sanderson sisters on it, and... I'm just basically obsessed with Hocus Pocus. Now, another thing, and I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I could swear I remember a long time ago in Disney World, and I don't know why this turned into a Disney slash Disney World video, but I could swear when I, were, when I rode the Tower of Terror back when I was young that the like there was a part of the Tower of Terror when you were going up and it stopped like before you got to the top that like the Sanderson sisters were like coming at you doing that thing they do when they get in the high school in the movie where they're like coming at you like and then you would they would get to you and you would drop or you would move up I can't remember but it was something along those lines and now when you ride the Tower of Terror it's not like that it's like you know you, you go up and then you go through this little thing and then you enter the elevator and you just sit there for like a couple seconds and you drop so I don't know where I remember that from. I don't know if that's legit or not, but if anybody else has experienced that and at the Disney World in Florida, please let me know because I feel like I'm crazy. Like, I don't know where or why I remember that, but I remember the whole part of the movie where they're coming at you and doing that step and like the noises that they're making, I just remember it. And I don't know if it's because it just creeped me out maybe when I was a kid and I thought I saw it in Tower of Terror because I was creeped out with the Tower of Terror or what. But anyway, my, my battery is running low because I can't shut my mouth. So, that is my top 10 movies that I like to watch during Halloween. What is your top 10 movies that you like to watch during Halloween? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to make a video, again, just leave me the link below and I will check it out. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Please make sure you are kind and compassionate to each and everyone around you. And yeah, I hope everybody has a great Halloween. And I hope everybody has a great day as well.